those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. That didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. That's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had been pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy. <laughs> so, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes it led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. And your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes on my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. 
You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. I don't know what's gonna be out there. I know what I've read and what's likely to happen, but if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised and do my best to adapt to what's in front of me. We'll follow you to the surprises we need, because we all know we'll need food once we set up our new spot. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. You mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup. <laughs> But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Yeah, I think it'll be a great addition to the... Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. With food spilling over the sides. We'll show everyone we can handle this in the long winter ahead. And now that we've got you, I have no doubt we can carry it all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. This is going so well. Well, we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Mouse sounds nice, right? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel.
couple of few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like, but it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Finn, Bodega, Iggy. And the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't wanna freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, let's go. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. Ha! Chopper, I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? On way, pups. Ignore it. See a chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Hey, we've got priorities. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Did you really have to run away after I hit you? I could have tried again if you'd stayed here. You know, put you out of your misery, I guess. But... I'm here to finish what I started. And if I find you again, I plan to. 
that worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. All right, we've got two bullets. Let's be safe out there. What do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! <sighs> Previous owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Hey, pups. Ready to go? I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Should we camp? We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Good time. Chow down, pups. Good time. Chow down, pups. Good time. Chow down, pups. Ready for pets, Barkley? 